Banditi from That's Just TMI. I'm here with my girl, Tiffany Dawn. She got it going on. You're here, bestie, and mine. I've also got Taylor T. Tom and Jasmine T. So you know what it's going to be. Another girl chat. That's right. We're going to get it. It's a rhyme for me. <laughs> right? We rap pop. That. Combo and chill. If you guys did not know, Combo and Chill is actually black owned. So nice. Combo and Chill, and it's on Amazon. So we'll be using that throughout our chat to filter some questions and get into um, what does it say? It says 99 con controversial conversation cards. Woo, ciao. We're probably just going to do five. <laughs> not 99. I want to go home. Okay. <laughs> That's Count me out for the other so, 95. <laughs> ladies, what have we missed? Who wants to go first? Um, okay. I'll give you a little update. So, Come on. Uh, it wasn't explicit in the last video, but I was speaking to someone. Mm -hmm. um, but I realized that what I was advising the saints, I did not hold myself to. And so earlier on this year actually i'm like like maybe two weeks ago <laughs> i shut it down i was like nasa i couldn't so much um and someone used this reference and and i loved it uh someone said it seems like you're in a treadmill relationship and so in a treadmill relationship it seems like you're going somewhere, mm. but you're not. And, and, and the thing is, you are now exerting energy, Ooh. thinking that you are going somewhere, but you're not. Hallelujah. And I said to myself, wow, I got to get off the treadmill mm -hmm. and put my energy and put my focus into something else. And so that's what I've been doing. And it actually kind of started prior to, um, you know, the release two weeks ago. But I went into that conversation five foot four and I left feeling 10 feet tall. I felt empowered. I felt um, so in control of what was happening to me mentally and what was happening uh, to the effects of my body, too. Ooh. Right. I wasn't sleeping at night. Um, I was, I didn't really have a purpose. And, and that was, and when I say I didn't have a purpose, like I wasn't working at that time. I've now started back working, praise God. But it was like everything just came together and I felt peace. I felt such peace. And I think that was a major part of it. And so, yeah, I, I, the, the guy is still a good guy, but he's just not for me and that's okay. And something that he said in the conversation was, you know, sometimes you release things and they come back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, if you're going to change, you know. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So I, so, and I, I, I get what he's saying, but it's like, they will come back if, if somebody something has to change you cannot remain the same expecting something to come back and so I have since then just realigned my energy I realigned my purpose my focus and it feels so good and one last thing before I go I was really uh dependent oh, on where are you going <laughs> before I let somebody else give their update um I, I felt like because he had brought a uh like type of financial literacy to me so I was very dependent on him for that like super codependent and uh narcissistic people need codependent people and I was like I will not be uh codependent on him when it comes to this because even though I had broke it off, I was still going back to like 
tie up loose ends and stuff with my other things. And uh, I just cut it off. I did my research. I found the people in my community and I got who I needed to get. And um, I'm working with them. And it's just another sense of relief and peace. Like, Broski, not to say I don't need you, but I don't need you. I need God. You know, he is my sustainer. He is the one who will provide, not your tail. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. What an update. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knew because I wasn't really explicit, but I was like, NASA. It was bad. Like some of us suffer in so much silence. Mm -hmm. I I felt like I had depressive moments. And it was like, this is not how my parents raised me. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Like I just don't we and I'm and this is the other hard thing. It's so crazy. An alpha female. Is a hell of a thing. Hey. It is. And I don't mind, like, even if I find another alpha female, uh, male, uh, and I'm in a relationship <laughs> with that person, I know that at some time in that relationship, you have to, it, it's going to be an ebb and flow, and somebody has to ease off. And I felt like there was no ease. Like, he wanted the final decision. And I was like, me not know about that one, Nada. Me not know. Because I need democracy. Wow. I need democracy. So it was like, what are you saying? And I was doing, I was doing, I was literally doing the work behind the scenes. And I saw that his, his stance was, I shall not be moved. And I was like, oh, miss you then. But I will. And I will move on out. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know, right? So. Thanks for sharing. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. This is, this is. I know. I didn't want to bring the mood down, but yeah. No, this was important because it wasn't even an update. It was a release and then <laughs> update. And I said, wow, so yeah. much. A lot. We were ready. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. So, Jasmine, what's up? What's happening in your life? Well, when you caught me um, the day of our first girls chat, mm -hmm. I was going through it that day. Like, through it. I think I probably cried in the car before I got to you guys. Oh. So, praise God, things are completely different now. Completely yes. different. Um, uh, I won't go into much detail as people watching this pretty much know my life. Um, but <laughs> yeah, save it, cover it. Not trying to invite anybody in, but um, but <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I realized a lot. I grew a lot, and I think I was, I was the do. I was doing the not moving. I was the one who wasn't moving, and I feel like um, God moved me, oh. <laughs> and through that, I'm just grateful, honestly. Like, I learned a lot. What are you, you going to say, Tiffany? Go ahead. Yo, sometimes God has to move you. Okay. You're not going to move? He's literally going to... Ah. I said go. For your safety. Mm -hmm. yeah, for your safety, so... Absolutely. Like actually, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it, it's true. So I'm just, I'm grateful. Like, it's not even like a, oh my gosh, God moved me. I'm so sad. Like, I'm actually like, no, thank, thank you for moving me. Like, I, I appreciate really it. appreciate this. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a much better place now that I've been moved. So, yeah. Can I just say something though? Yeah, go ahead. So I felt something was wrong. Okay. Let's talk about it. You really did. I'm not going to lie to you, Jasmine. That day, I think it was the same night or the next day, Tiff was like, was everything okay? Because I felt like mm. there was more to Jasmine's story. And I was like, girl, we, need more. we just going to pray. And like, I just left it there. 
yeah. I feel like there's a lot too, and yeah, half of it. I'll talk to you, mm-hmm. Deandra, after a little bit about everything, but trust me, like it was, it was rough. It was yeah. Rough. So I'm. I, it's really good to hear and see you in a better place because. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we just don't know. We can get an inkling. Like I could get an inkling, but I actually don't know the situation. Mm-hmm. And I I did pray. <laughs> I prayed. I did pray for you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes that's the best thing we could do for our sisters and brothers in situations. We don't always have to know the full story mm-hmm. unless someone is comfortable sharing. Yeah. The best thing you could do is shut your lip, listen, and pray. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. pretty much because god knows mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah no it, it's great thank you honestly Lord. thank you for the prayer yeah all right taylor t tom she got it <laughs> well i'm <clears throat> saying to god hallelujah the child is still Professionally single, as my dear Tiffany po- coins it. Um, and um, I think we're going to remain that way. Yeah. Um, I, just, I just don't want any. Any what? Any what? I know. Uh, good question. Because that, what you're thinking, I want it. Never mind. What I don't want is a relationship. I don't want a man. I don't. Wait a minute. I was like four years ago. Oh, oh, well then God forbid, because I don't want uh -uh. (laughs) job. No. Okay. Okay. So, all right, let's talk about it. So, um, Full sentences this time. You know, don't don't put commas or semicolons. Just Apocalypse. let it be a run-on sentence. Just just go. All right. So um update. The human being and I. Yes. Um, Grace, Grace Anatomy. Um yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yes. We're no longer. However, like not in a bad way, like nothing bad happened. Okay. Nothing. I mean, actually, you know what? If he sees this, he can text me because I don't. I don't think anything bad happened. So if something bad happened, my bad. Um, but uh, <laughs> but no. Um, yeah. So we talked for probably a good. I don't know. Remember uh, how like how far in I was when we had our last girl chat. I think it was fresh. It was fresh, right? Like just after first date, something like that. Like it was. Early, a few weeks. Five hundred dollar date. That's all I remember. Yeah. Not yeah. And I said, That's it. <laughs> I've had enough. Um. So, uh, about three months ish, mm-hmm. from whatever the time was, to maybe the new year, we were still speaking. Okay. So, like shortly after the new year, we just stopped talking. And again, no big like blowout or anything. No like, oh, I, well, I did uncover some things that I wasn't too fond of, but I didn't, um, when I learned those things, I didn't like end anything. I wasn't like, hey, I can't deal with that. So no, Um, it just stopped. So it, sorry, uh, just to clarify, because I like clarity. Go ahead, let's go. I don't like Uh to clarify, let's go. (laughs) Um, So you didn't like things about... Grey's Anatomy, uh, and, you, and you revealed that to him. No, I you? didn't. So in so here's what happened in conversation. You know what I mean? The going deeper, um, mm-hmm. and the learning about each other. Um, so hold on, real quickly, pause. What's your editing situation for this? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what do we go for further? I just want to know what do we go? After? Like what is the like how? <laughs> I was actually what you need. You need to get it, girl. Just any other video. It's amazing. Amen. Amen. All right. We gonna continue. Sorry, Brazil. Let me know what I should take out and I will check it out. Okay, everything I'm about to say right now, just okay. So we got to talking, right? When there was one night I was heading to Niagara and um I have to pass him, I have to pass everyone from where I live. 
like it's impossible um so I was we we're on the phone and he I was like oh I'm at uh like just hitting Etobicoke he's like oh my god I'm alone stop by and I was like well like sure like I'll come over but like I'm not having sex with you like just so you know like I'm just not uh we're just not there yet thank you very much you gotta edit this out this is good all right well, we can, I mean, I'll, you'll see what I, we got to edit, but um, anyways, we got to keep going. Um, so again, fine. Like these are things we talked about. We started talking about sex, obviously, because I was like getting into that phase where people start wanting things, wanting to see, and I'm in the place of like, all right, I want to know where you're at. And again, if we're going to move even further, it's not a bad thing to talk about and start to know what, where you sit in that, like, like, do you, what, what do you need in that regard? And am I able to provide it? Slash am I down? Right. So uh, we talked again, like we're just talking the whole day. And again, we had such a good, uh, like healthy talking, uh, healthy communication. I felt like mm-hmm. we were able to talk all the time. It didn't feel like uh, the weight was on one person. So it was really good. And I really enjoyed um, the time that we did share. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> I was like, yeah, sure. I'll stop by. Uh, and then on the phone, like through that day, we were talking about sex and things like that. And I said, Hey, um, the messy part of me coming over right now is that we're talking about this and then our minds might want to do this. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, just so you know, I'm not going to, if you're okay with me coming over and not having sex with you, then I'll come over. If you want to have sex right now, like if that's where you're at, I won't come over today. Right. But again, not like, Oh, end the relationship. No, just like, yeah. Like I'm not trying to have sex today. Uh, <laughs> right. Like heads up. So he was like, nah, Oh, well, like, I would love to, but you're right. It's cool. Don't worry. I'm not going to pressure you. Whatever. Come over, though. And I, so I stopped by on my way to my friend's, uh, my friend was having a birthday in Niagara. Stopped by. We talked again, like, about so many other things. And then, again, talked about sex. But, again, no temptation to have. At no point was he like, oh, let's do it. No. He was very respectful of what I had said. And so, again, that was a bonus. Now, what we spoke about okay so we talked about uh like our sexual past like our sexual history mm. and uh the kind of things we enjoy and like just i guess who we are sexually now my conclusion i'll get deep and give you the whole thing but let me try to cut together something that people can actually hear because we don't have to get it um and so my conclusion of this was that i where i am now I'm not necessarily looking for someone who's exploring sexually. Oh, right? Oh, wait. I understand. <laughs> like, uh, you want like a goat or something in there? I like, knew. I knew. <laughs> Did he want other people? Did he want objects? We're going to go there. But um, so, but the, the, the summary is. Hello. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Woo, child. So, uh, <laughs> have mercy. Uh, there were things that that I just got from him that he. I don't like the way I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say it this way, and y'all can pick me apart in the comments and such. Um, he wasn't finished, and I'm not saying that people have to be perfect and finished, but I want someone that has already come to kind of know themselves on their own. I get that. That's fair. And then therefore we're able to kind of learn what together would look like and what a family would look like and move from there. Mm -hmm. I am not necessarily in a place where I can join myself to someone who is still not sure what their values are, not sure where their morals lie, still really exploring. Like, that's just not where I am. Like I have a child. I need someone a little bit more popular than themselves. Yeah. That's fair. Why do you feel like it's a problem? Mm-hmm. To like not know who you are? No, no, no. Like why do you feel like people may pick you apart in the comments? Because oh, I think that's uh, so a I very a, fair statement. Yeah, I was in another uh chat thing where we're talking about relationships and stuff like that, and I said something like that where I'm I need someone who's finished. Um and it was taken like, well, nobody perfect and Actually, I don't want to even make that voice. Like, I don't feel that way. I feel like it's a genuine comment to say. Like, you know, nobody's perfect and nobody's finished per se. Like, you're always going to be growing. I'm like, yeah, but I, 
when I come, I like I I'm I'm if I'm joining something, I'm going to marry you. Like I'm seeking yeah. to, right? Yeah. Like again. Uh so at that point, like I you gotta know what you'll stand and say yes to and what you will say no to. At that point in life, like that's what I'm looking for. Somebody who already knows, like, yeah, I'm not for this. Or yeah, um, family's really important to me, or I don't really care too much about my career, or this is what, you know what I mean? Like someone who already knows and who's been through enough to kind of have that kind of outlay. So even though he was phenomenal career-wise, phenomenal work-wise, like um, his personality was really great, really fun, excellent communicator, like so much good about him. And then again, y'all saw him like, God, Lord Jesus, um, <laughs> looking right. Um, but even though all that was right, Yes, like you had, I had to walk away from that. And again, I didn't walk away in a way that was like I didn't say, "Hey, I don't like this." It just, it just fizzed. Like I wanted, I, I've been saying, like it just expired. Like the yeah. time just expired. Time was up. Yeah, and that's fine though. That's good. Exactly because you that's don't know, like I'm not. You don't want to get deeper and then find out like, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want it. Not a TikTok. You don't want it. Yeah, right? Um, well, yeah, it was, It was again, a really good, um, a really good little break from my singleness. Um, but again, it wasn't it. Uh, and I didn't lose sleep over it. I didn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't broken. It, again, like it expired and it felt healthy and natural. It didn't feel like, oh, not broken. No, it felt natural that like, yeah, we weren't it for each other. That's all right. Okay. So I got no hard feelings to him. He's still, again, an amazing guy and good luck to him. I wish him all the best and he will be incredible. But uh, yeah, uh, I just, you know, I, but another night um, where uh, his friends, he was having like a Christmas party. And so he invited me over. So I met his friends, all of this, like we're there. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and um Bed's making noise. Like, his bed's really loud. Like, you can't, like, move. And I was like, this is... I was just like, you know, like, if we were in a sexual place, like, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, there's a story. And I was like, oh, do tell. So his last <laughs> sexual experience was a five-some. Huh? Sorry, that was ugly. What? That means, that means that... <laughs> At least one of the five was a male. So it was this guy and his girlfriend, this guy and his girlfriend, and him. Pure mix up. She said, I'm a head out. Pure mix up. And I said, okay. You know what I mean? Everybody has a pass. Okay. Okay. All right. I hear you. I hear, I hear, I'm listening. I hear. Haha, uh -huh. funny story. Get a new bed. Um, and get, <laughs> get a new bed. Get me out of this one. Um, and then, like, we, again, we're talking, like, you know, what do you like? What kind of things? Blah, blah. And the, co the sentence, like, this sentence doesn't work with me. Like, so regular intercourse just doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know what I think that's okay okay first of all I think that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that it's a little bit crazy for me the fivesome but for him for him exactly you know what sir if that's where you are I'm actually I actually have zero problems but I just cannot continue with you in that way. Yeah. If that's something you're going to be wanting later. Yeah. I just, I just don't want it. Because regular is what we have. We take my car, takes regular gas. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I take premium, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I want regular, regular. Wait, how old is he? 28. Oh. I'm you not can explore, explore. And you know what? People can explore. Let me not be so Absolutely. wild. Let me not be so ridiculous and walk off a camera. People can explore whatever they want to explore. And I think mm -hmm. what's respectful about the 
friendship that you guys had, you respected that. And because you respected that, you also respected yourself Mm -hmm. in in what you wanted and for your safety, um, you know, I'm going to head out. And I think that is super important. I'm going to interject here. One solid comment. So oftentimes when we go on a plane, there is a mask and the flight attendants will tell you before you help anybody else, you better help yourself. And I think in relationships, sometimes women get to the point where they're helping others and they're helping others and they're helping others and they're serving others and they're giving others and they don't secure themselves. Mm -hmm. That's when the issue strikes, you know? So I applaud both of you for understanding each other's limits and wishes and future experiences and just like parting ways, um, which is in an amicable way, you know? Yeah. That's for sure. I, gotta, I gotta give him like a little kudos for just owning up I to it because I feel like there are other situations where people have held back yeah, and exactly. the relationship then grows and then, then you start to see these little red flags where it's like, right. like this right. is not enough. I now need to do this, 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 mm-hmm. this, and that's bare headache and stress. But at that's least from the exactly. And it's not even an issue. The male oh. thing is one thing, but even if it were four girls and just him, that's still crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I feel as though, especially in terms of like safety, like Tiffany said, you got to know who you're messing with because you never know where it's been things have been have mercy (laughs) yeah communication is key communication is key because if if those couples want to do that then yo the couples are are comfortable right you can't can't even look two ways at them and put your prejudice and your you know i would never do yeah that's disgusting no that's what they spoke about and communicated and anything for them anything outside of that that they don't discuss or agree upon then that's disrespectful too yeah even if like agreement is like yo we said it would always be two girls and a guy and then um or two guys and a girl and then you come with a next girl like it's it's what you guys communicate it's what people in relationships communicate mm-hmm. right so this is what we agree upon um this is my, you know, if you go outside these boundaries, then yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, um, again, like I said, like it, it was not even that that happened again, like, cause I have a sexual history too and right. it might shock people too. Right. right. But it's right. just, I, I know that You're not there. like, when you say that you know this is this is the kind of stuff you need to um you know be really satisfied i don't know that i can provide that i don't know that i can keep up to that all the time so i'm like you know that at this store but i can recommend another store yeah yeah yeah. that's really what it is i have a recommendation (laughs) right i can let you know where it is but i (laughs) we don't have that we don't have that that. and we would we would love for you to come back but we would this is what's on the menu here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, good. Um, Deandra, are you still married or like? I'm very sorry. Take time. I'm not even sure what your update would be, but um, after your thousand days of you know, giving gifts. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay, I guess that's my update. Yes, I'm still married. I, what do you mean that's your update? Yes, you, you told us you have an update. Don't come in here and take other updates for your update. I did. <laughs> no, my update is just that I'm still married. I did a Kimi celebration 30 days. Yes. People, let me tell you this from experience. I don't care how much you love your man. Yep. <laughs> 30 days of celebrating his damn birthday is a lot. <laughs> and January has 31 days. That's what's around. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh my god! I said that's what I said at the beginning. I said this a lot, <laughs> a lot of days. I was so hopeful. I was like, I can do it. I yep. can do it. By the time I hit day twelve, I said, 
what the hell? Like your birthday was two days ago. Why am I still going? <laughs> I was so mad. And I was like, I have so many days left. You have yeah. to come. I can't stop. It's a lot. The song was a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was his idea. I didn't I didn't tell him nothing about no song. No, no. So yeah, that's that's my update. Love people. Wow, I was waiting for you to tell me you're pregnant. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I have a question. I was gonna use this forum to just tell the people. That would have been brilliant for me. It would have been YouTube worthy. We would have went viral. All right, all right. So I'm high up on I, the YouTube line, you know, to be like, yeah, here people know my business. My question for you is, do you actually expect him to do the same thing for you? Because I don't think that would be. Oh, absolutely not. So yeah. here's the thing. I, I know the type of person I married. Mm -hmm. So I, and I also know how much more, how, yeah, how much more busy his life is with work. I work from home. So I was able to do all of this stuff because I'm at home all the time, bored as ever, because we locked in. He actually has sporadic shifts. I do not expect that. Honestly, I just want something for my the day of my birth, and I'll celebrate my whole month. I do it my own self. I did it last year, the year before, the year before, the year before. <laughs> I celebrate me. If not, if none, what is it? What is, how many? 11 months, if I don't do it for those 11 months, that one month? July, I go all out. Let me know in the comment section if other July babies do this or if it's just me. It's not know. even July babies. I think it's people because my friend, she celebrates the entire month of May or the week. My friend in August, her, her birthday is in August. She celebrates that entire, like, and I'm like, what are you doing for the month? <laughs> like, maybe a week. It's hard. It's a hard. month? Of course it is. I looked every day. I'm like, yo, whatever job Deandra has, when COVID is done, <laughs> a transition thing is a pivot thing. <laughs> that, and it wasn't like Dega Dega. No, he got a suit. He got shoes. Yeah. My Weird mom was telling me, my mom was like, if you can't think of anything, just, just take a pen from over the sun. Just give him a pen. Just, just give him things that you already have around the house. And I said, oh, been to that. like, what? You can't just, what am I going to do? Take the mirror off the wall and say, here? <laughs> this is what got it for me the two on one day i'm like i said why <laughs> i don't know why i did that it was like, why are you trying to put other people to shame this is your first year how are you going to get higher than that that's the other thing i didn't think about because this is our first <laughs> year married and i said okay but next Bro. what do i do but you, you need to go higher than that. I don't think you need to go above yeah, that. I know. I feel like I just said it, and now it's like, uh, yeah, like it's over. next gift would be a child. So Taylor, we'll keep your eye open. Yeah, right. like, what's going to beat that? When? <laughs> when? You're going to have to plan it to come for the birthday month. What? Yeah. That's intelligent. So July. Got it. <laughs> just what are you doing uh, here? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Yeah, so that's that's my update. <clears throat> but I'm ready for convo and chill. I'm ready. I have Are you ready for a child. <laughs> no, I said convo and chill. Oh, yeah, convo ah, and Deandra. Yeah, I love the mic. it's very creepy. Like I love it. The gold and it's thank cute. you. Keem got me my mic. Thank you. Oh. Okay, cool. I mean, so, like I, I could hide it and then pull it back out for July. But, You're right. On one chill? <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so again, I just picked up some questions because I said 99 is a lot. So the first one is actually <clears throat> How long would you wait for someone you're dating to commit to you? <laughs> 